Today I want to talk about uh, clickbaiting and the other half of the problem that is rarely discussed when it comes to the clickbaiters. Obviously, the, most of the discussion revolves around the clickbaiting channels themselves, whether it's uh, this game, GTA Online, are those that also cover GTA 6, even though most of the uh, GTA 6 uh, clickbait turns out to be BS and lies. Then you have other clickbait channels out there as well. It used to be kind of popular in Red Dead Online before the game died. And uh, Fortnite has its fair share of clickbait channels. Almost every single game out there that's popular, that has a, a following to it, a community, has clickbaiters especially if they're live service games or if there are games that people are looking forward to that haven't been officially announced yet or have very little information for. It's understandable that there are people in the community that are excited for GTA 6 or the next update to GTA Online or with what's going on with the future of Fortnite, other games as well. And so they're hoping to come across channels out there that have information that they can get nowhere else. But unfortunately, all too often, a lot of these channels turn out to be, well, liars, clickbaiters. And all too often, they spread misinformation and those that are watching the content will spread it like the plague or a wildfire. And unfortunately, there are those that have to go out and say, no, that's not true. This has not been confirmed. Now, it's fun to speculate. It's fun to have idea videos and thoughts regarding what we'd like to see in a hypothetical game like uh, GTA 6 or future DLCs for GTA Online. That's a big difference between claiming that the information that you're going to talk about is true and just... I guess casually saying, well, it may not be true. It's just uh, speculation or it's just rumors. Instead of outright saying, look, this is a rumor. This may not turn out to be true. So unfortunately, clickbaiters have a habit of threading the needle. Some of them try to disclaim that it's a rumor, but a lot of them don't really care. All they care about, all they want, all they desire is to get as many views and subscribers as possible. But the other half of the issue when it comes to clickbaiting is the clickbait enjoyers or the viewers of the clickbait channels because the clickbaiters could not grow their channels and could not have the views and subscribers that they have without somebody watching them <laughs> or subscribing. And I think there's like several subcategories to the clickbait enjoyers. First off is obviously the clickbait haters. They hate watch just to, I guess, watch and poke fun of the, uh, the BS, the lies, the nonsense that are being spread by these clickbait channels, knowing full well that the uh, content that they're about to watch is most likely almost 100% bullshit or garbage. Maybe a little bit of truth mixed in, and maybe some of it turns out to be legit, but most of it not so much. So there's definitely a fair share of hate watchers when it comes to clickbait. But they're also guilty of, uh, I guess, feeding the beast, whether they realize it or not. Or maybe they just don't care because it's a form of entertainment in itself. So you have the hate watchers. You also have the, the Kool-Aid drinkers, those that are loyal to the clickbaiters, that see the clickbaiters with rose-colored glasses, that don't really care if they're being lied to by their favorite clickbaiter, whether it's GTA Online or COD or Fortnite, etc. They're going to keep watching. They're going to keep subscribing. And anytime that the clickbaiter happened to have been right, say one out of nine, right, or one out of ten times that they're right, they're going to defend that clickbaiter. They're going to be like, well, uh, this clickbaiter was right. So they're not a clickbaiter, even though they are a clickbaiter. <laughs> They're just in a really bad state of denial, the uh, Kool-Aid drinking fans of these uh, clickbait channels. Now, the last category that I want to talk about of those that enjoy the clickbaiters might not even be real. I'm talking about bots, view bots, subscribe bots, comment bots, bots in general. That has been a thing for a while now. I feel like that's continuing to get worse. And unfortunately, there's a lot of channels, not just clickbaiters, 
that grow their channels with bots in order to try to get up in the YouTube algorithm in order to get attention. And some have this attitude, fake it till you make it, which is sad. I, I'd rather people try to organically grow their channel. I know it's a struggle, but I'd, I'd rather have a real audience than a bunch of bots. But unfortunately, bots are a thing. And I, I feel like that makes up the third category in uh, the clickbait enjoyer. So two thirds of the category are not even real. Like one third are those that simply watch because they know that the clickbait is bullshit and it's just hate watching or just reacting and making fun of the clickbaiters and seeing what kind of nonsense and bullshit they come up with next. And you know, a lot of those uh, clickbait haters are they themselves going out there and debunking the clickbait. So they, I guess they, they have a purpose and a mission in itself of enduring the clickbait, watching it, and then telling their audience, their viewers, like, okay, well, this, this crap is crap. It's not legit. Hasn't been proven by the developer, the publisher, and you should not believe it, and you should take over a grain of salt. But with uh, the one-third that actually do enjoy watching the content, I don't know. Maybe it's like wrestling. Maybe they know it's fake, but they don't care. They just enjoy the clickbaiter. They enjoy their presentation, the thumbnails the deceptive titles, the arrows, <laughs> and it doesn't really matter to them if it's lies or not. But then, of course, you have, like I said, you have like a third of the supposed audience of a lot of these clickbait channels that are not even real. They are bots. And unfortunately, that is a growing problem thanks to uh, AI. And a lot of channels are getting fake views, fake subscribers, and it's unfortunate that YouTube is very, very slow to react to the ongoing issues of AI and bots and other problems that emerge on their platform. Now, that's a topic for another time. All the other issues that uh, YouTube faces on a daily basis and how slow they are to combat other problems. But botting is definitely a concern because there are plenty of channels that will grow their channels and rise up in the ranks and with uh, fake views and fake subscribers and the rest of us who are trying to do it the right way, the legit way, are much slower to grow our channels as a result. But you know, some of us actually have this thing called integrity and really don't want to go that route in order to grow our channels. Some may feel like, hey, the ends justify the means. It's okay to fake it till you make it, but that is an opinion that they have that I do not share. So yeah, that's uh, another half of the problem when it comes to clickbaiting, is not just the creators that are guilty of the clickbait, but those that partake in the content, that consume it. Whether you're doing so out of, out of full realization that it's fake, out of hate, because you, you hate the channel, and you're bored and it's just the content you enjoy. I mean, I guess that's fine, but it's sad that there are those that watch these channels that generally believe the lies, the BS that is spread and they, they take it like scripture. And then there are those that don't care that watch because for some reason they love these creators. Even if they are lied to and clickbaited over and over and over and over again. But then there's also a percentage of the so-called clickbait enjoyers that are not even real. So in conclusion, the reason why clickbaiters continue to get views and subscribers is because of people that watch them. Whatever the reason or logic is for watching the clickbaiters, you are feeding the beast. And as long as people continue to watch clickbait channels and videos, then the clickbaiters will continue to clickbait because that's what they know how to do. That's how they grew their channels. That's how they got subscribers. That's how they're making money on YouTube is with the clickbait. So it's a two part issue. If they didn't get views or subscribers, then they would have stopped clickbaiting a long ass time ago. Because I feel like most of the clickbaiters don't even believe the lies or the bullshit that they're spreading in their videos. They know it's a game. They know it's entertainment. They know it's a bunch of nonsense. 
they're not delusional. They realize that they're just trying to intentionally get most of their videos up to eight minutes in length in order to get more ad revenue and slap as many commercials and ads into their videos as possible. They know that every single time they make a GTA 6 video, whether it's uh, once a week or <laughs> seven times a week on the daily, that most of the information they're putting in these videos is regurgitated the same crap over and over again. And a lot of it has not been confirmed and might turn out to be bullshit. Some of it may turn out to be true. They don't care. All they want are the views and the subscribers and the ad revenue. That's all they care about. They have no qualms about lying to their audience, deceiving their audience, tricking their audience, or the average viewer that happens to come across their channel that gets clickbaited. They see something, something GTA 6, and I'm like, oh boy, cool. I've been waiting a quick minute for some GTA 6 information because Rockstar isn't saying anything. Uh, maybe they have some information. And they go and they watch this clickbaiter's channel or that clickbaiter's channel, and either they're quickly under the realization that, oh, I got clickbaited. This is bullshit. Or unfortunately, they buy it hook, line, and sinker. Because Rockstar's not exactly going out there debunking this false narrative, the fake info that's being spread by the clickbaiters. Rockstar's pretty silent. And despite the fact there are those of us that just tell people, like, look, it's fun to speculate. It's fun to come up with ideas and theories as long as you, you know, make the case that, look, this is just a theory. It's just an idea. It's just speculation. But it's a completely different thing to openly deceive the audience and the viewers and not telling them that, hey, what's being discussed here is just a rumor. It's just junk I found on the Internet from Reddit or the, the dark web or wherever you found it. And it most likely might turn out to be a bunch of BS. So if you're sick and tired of the clickbait channels and you keep watching them over and over again, whether you fall into the subcategory of a, of a clickbait hater, you're hate watching them, or for some reason you just can't stop watching because maybe you're addicted to the channel and you realize it's it's a bunch of lies and BS, but you can't help yourself. You just want to watch the next fake GTA 6 video that your least favorite uh, clickbaiter has released today and will release again tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. Or you happen to fall into that percentage of rose-colored Kool-Aid drinking clickbait enjoyer that for some reason believes every single video and every single thing these clickbaiters say to be the truth when there's nothing at all to confirm that or back them up in their claims. The sad reality here is the reason why the clickbaiters continue to make the content that they make is because there is an audience for the clickbait. Now, there's obviously several demographics, as we just talked about, but as long as the beast is fed, the clickbaiters, with views, doesn't matter to them if it's the Kool-Aid drinkers or the hate watchers or those that simply get off and entertained by the latest fake video. The clickbaiters will continue to get those views and those subscribers. And yeah, a certain percentage of may or may not be view bots or fake subscribers. But they would have a lot less views and a lot less subscribers if less people watch their content, whatever the reasons or justifications may be. In other words, lower views, lower subscribers would mean less clickbaiting on YouTube, whether it's regarding GTA Online, GTA 6, Fortnite, COD, the list goes on and on. So if you find yourself in one of these subcategories for clickbait enjoyment and you have become sick and tired of the clickbait, then there is a simple solution. Unsubscribe from the clickbait channels and stop watching them. If more and more people do that, then the clickbait channels numbers will go down. Some of them will outright quit because that's all they know how to do is clickbait. And then others are going to have to create damage control and try to somehow salvage their channel because they have built it upon a mountain of lies and deceit and clickbait. 
And it would be very difficult for them to go from being an outright clickbait channel to a channel that covers legit information. But the largest of the clickbaiters would probably continue to clickbait to the better end because it's a business to them. It's a scheme. It's a con game. And they're probably working it as long as they can, milking the clickbait in order to get as much money out of it as possible. It's just a job to them. And they're going to keep the con going for as long as they can. And when the money does dry up, well, guess what? They'll close shop and they'll move on to something else, laughing all the way to the bank.